so in the United States, we have been having a ton of horrible, tragic shootings. Um, I've been in Special Forces for 16 years. Uh, as a Green Beret, we primarily fight in unconventional warfare. That's the way it's been in my whole entire career. Whether it's South America, Africa, the Middle East, um, you know, Afghanistan is a clear example of an unconventional war. That's uh, the bad guy doesn't wear a uniform, right? He just appears and does horrible things. Well, that's what's happening here in the United States with these shooters. You have guys wearing body armor. They have they have rifles that they have been training with, um, and I think that every day, kind of sheepdog is getting outgunned. You know, I have been a small, compact, or even mid-sized like the Glock 19 or the FN 509 as my primary everyday carry. That's what EDC stands for. Um, I'm changing that for the first time. So this is stuff that I that I normally have on me all the time. Um, sometimes not two. Sometimes not two tourniquets. Sometimes just one. I have little kids, a toddler. I have tiny little daughters, um, small wife, dogs. So I have always carried the rat tourniquet. The little rat tourniquet is great for small people, right? This would work well on my arm. Maybe not so great on my leg. Um, so the cat tourniquet is is kind of the solution to that. It's a little bit bigger, so it doesn't fit in a lot of places. And then I always have something stabby. So while I love gut, why I love guns is you can have standoff, right? That's that I can engage somebody further than they can engage me. That's a really great thing. In the military, standoff is paramount. Um, in this current day of active shooters, these guys have rifles, and you're seeing. Um, people trying or wanting to get into the fight and they can't because they don't have the right equipment. So I have changed from a regular compact to something a little bit different. I was gonna show that to you. So this is what I've changed. These things are always on me and I went from carrying a mid-size compact to this, which is an FN 5.7. This shoots a rifle round. This is a 40 grain bullet that travels at 3,000 feet per second. Um, this is gonna zip through anything. It's like, ah, oh, cool, you're hiding behind a car, I don't care, I'm still gonna get you. Neat, you're wearing body armor? Also, don't really care, because this is gonna get you. So, we, we have to kind of adapt, right? Um, there's still just good guys and bad guys. Doesn't matter what kind of war, doesn't matter um, if it's a criminal, an active shooter, um, an asshole's an asshole. I don't care what his ideology is or the religion, the motivation, right? If they're, if they're pissed off at their place of work and they're gonna go there to shoot it up or, or they're like, ah, Bernie Sanders, or they're, ah, oh, Donald Trump, it doesn't matter, right? White supremacist, Islamic extremist is, is totally ir irrelevant. What matters is protecting and preserving human life. And that's, um, so you're gonna have to change up what you're doing. And this is the first thing that I have changed. At Sheepdog Response, uh, it's a defensive tactics, security consulting company that I own, we train people how to better protect themselves and their families. This is not vigilante stuff. This is just how do I protect what's mine? Um, I'm changing up what I do. I've changed up how I protect my home. Um, that's why we added security consulting to that. We're gonna announce that in a few weeks. We're gonna show you everything that you need to know, but more importantly, this is what I have on me all the time. I wanted to share that with you. You're like, look at this bullet. That thing right there, I, I can shoot, I have been shooting, it's, it's a new gun, I'm still working with it. 100 yards, really, really easy with this bullet. No no aiming over, no anything, it's just I aim and I shoot. Um, 20 round magazine and you're ready to go. So be safe, there are crazy people out there.